What is up my original bakers and welcome to some Call of Duty gameplay But what I want to talk to you guys about is Everything that's going to be or might be in the next COD So the first thing we're going to cover in this video Will be the beta So they announced Sledgehammer announced at the world reveal trailer That there is going to be a private beta For anyone who has pre-ordered the game and people on PS4 will be getting it earlier than Xbox One and PC players and not told we're not told when this will take place but I can predict that it's going to be at least two months before the game comes out uh, the next thing is that the multiplayer will be open to the public to play in E3 which is on June 13th to the 15th of June so that that's pretty massive like it would give lots of Call of Duty fans a chance to experience the game the multiplayer side of the game and you know probably at the end of it you'll be probably given a questionnaire to fill out and to see what you liked about the game if there's parts that you would change about the game or the mechanics or anything basically and it's pretty good that they have this public play multiplayer to in E3 like for the public like it's just crazy and I think it's really good just to see what the multiplayer is going to be like for people so both the PS4 store and the Xbox store both have up content for the game which you can like I said pre-order now saying online multiplayer 0 to 48 players which means that there is going to be a game mode bigger than your standard 16 player 8v8 ground war it's going to turn now to 24 versus 24 players only time this has ever happened is in modded lobbies on God 4 on PC so this is very unusual like if you think of think of the ground war we have now it's chaos and just think how chaotic 24 players versus another 24 players would be like for example if kill streaks if if they have dogs like they had in world at war then like they will tear up the place no joke like they will go ham you'll be getting kills left right and center from them so this could mean that call of duty are kind of moving into a new branch of game modes or games like the popular games as in players unknown battlegrounds or h1z1 which is basically battle royale kind of shit who knows if they do that really well you know it'd be very interesting to see if they do it very well and if they do then we could see more people going over to the side of cod for that and yeah guys it's really good that if they go down this branch that they're taking advantage of the new market that has been developed and there is a game mode a new game mode called divisions we have no clue of what it is I actually thought it would be like some missions that for example the spies in the world war 2 would go on or the navy teams had to undertake in the war or maybe that it was a sledgehammer's version of league play but then when I heard that it's you play as a rank or team to fight for to fight for and you basically progress through the ranks I think I'm not sure this is kind of just off the top of my head and you get to unlock you get a lot of unlocks so this kind of ties in very well with uh, character creation we are told that there is a female resistant fighters uh, African American GIs uh, British soldiers and more that's where you can create your character and to be honest all I'm saying is you know the better have an uh, Irish army or division for me because like no shit that would be sick 
to be honest. And you know, it'd be fairly good to have that because loads of Irish were in world wars, like in wars in general, like to be honest. There's a new game mode called War that the Axes and the Allies fight over objectives. It's kind of like the one in Battlefield 1, I, th I think there's a game mode in Bla Battlefield 1. That it's fairly good, like to be honest, and it is said to be narrative driven and lots of objectives. We've never had something like this in COD before and I kind of look forward to this happening. They also gave us a clip of his social hub full of players, I think there was up to 50 players or something like that, called Headquarters, which is basically just a rip-off of Destiny's Citadel, or kind of Black Ops 3 safe house. It's where you can go and customize your player, or you can interact with other players, and I think you can also open supply drops there. Now I'm not sure so it's just kind of speculation and to be honest if they have this they should have kind of a camp that you can create and you can have guns that you use, statistics, headshots and all that, your supply drops that you open, you should be able to have customizable, customizable place, kind of like a GTA 5 house to be honest, just kind of a war setup for the war basically the the health regen in the cod world war 2 will cease to exist and if you stray too far from your team either some will die i think or you won't be able to get any ammo i know full well you won't be able to get any ammo and numerous news articles have said that there would be an esports support so you know that's that's fairly good that We've had Treyarch supporting it. Infinity Ward, uh, they kind of did, I guess. But I still think that Treyarch did the most and kind of brought boosted it in Black Ops 2 and boosted it in Black Ops 3. And Infinity Ward kind of, I don't know, kind of brought it down, but the money's gone up in it. Huge money in and out. And the COD World League is going to stay being an act stay being a thing activision is becoming more and more supportive of the esports model and they own mlg so it's kind of good that they have that now and we face we need a ranked play or league play if they are going to support esports it's what what we've been asking for basically like we need it because if we don't have it we're not going to have people coming up through the ranks of cod of the esports scene and like even even if it's just a chill like to have four players that you can't get a f six man then you just hop on ranked play and you can just grind through that or else you have four players you're a team you could be a gd team even you want to play people just kind of warm up your shot and everything you can go into that boom that's it done you have that and that's how you can get your shot on you can also go up to ranks and everything and the more ranks you get the harder competition will be and all that and you know it's fairly good you might be able to meet some pro players in as well so yeah i think that would be a really really nice idea and sledgehammer have also brought back nazi zombies but wait it's not a follow-on from the last few cods with the likes of zombies this is actually going to be a standalone because personally I think it's uh, just pol not policy but kind of law that Treyarch have the rights and the pat patent, patent to zombies, Nazi zombies in COD like they've started it in I don't know what but I think they own it now basically and the new zombies that they have is going to be a standalone that it's about the germans and her something i can't even remember what they're called and they're trying to make an army at the end of the war to kind of turn the tide in, in their favor hopefully this is good and that this zombies doesn't make you go through a load of fucking easter eggs like the last few did just to have an actual storyline and to be honest it should have a storyline 
this really really needs a storyline and I hope it does but yeah that is it guys I hope you like favorite and subscribe and peace also a little bit hang on to the zombies I don't want it to be spread out over numerous games I want it to kind of start in one game kind of be near enough done in that game and then finish it off in the next game but yeah that is it guys hope you like favorite and subscribe and peace